Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video of how to set up the Wooting analog controller movement in Overwatch, or at least how I do it. A lot of you guys had problems and started reaching out to me, so I wanted to make a quick video, get straight to the point about it. So what you want to do is in the description, there will be an import code. You can go right here and put the profile. We'll come up with this. Make sure the W, A, S, and D are all left joystick bound. If not, you can go to gamepad mapping. Put them on for yourself. Uh, you can move your analog curve to how you want. I like this personally, so it goes fast strafe, slower a bit, and then back to fast. And if you're having problems, so what you're gonna do is first check settings, keyboard settings, and make sure your gamepad mode is set to Xbox controller. This is important if you cannot move in game. A lot of people were DMing about the uh, the their WS and D just not working at all. So this is what you're gonna wanna turn on. And if you have the problem where your interface keeps moving from like controller to keyboard like this, where it just keeps going buttons and then keys, what you wanna do is you go to options, controls, controller, go to force keyboard and mouse user interface and just turn that on. Should fix it right away. You can still slow strafe, all that. And yeah, let me know if there's any more problems, but that should be the fix. Thank you guys for tuning in. One bonus tip too is that you can use FN plus enter to hot swap between your two top keyboard profiles. This is very helpful while using analog because your W, A, S, and D keys actually get remapped to a joystick so you can't type, which can be pretty annoying when you're trying to type a sentence and you don't have those four letters. So just FN, enter, will swap straight to whatever your top one is. I just use a normal pretty really responsive typing so yeah have fun guys